Hey everyone, Julian here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the much requested how to use Ableton's operator. I'm going to be breaking down everything about it, how you can use it, how to understand it, and how to make really cool sounds with it. Now, to go with this video, speaking of really cool sounds made with operator, I actually just dropped a preset pack of 50 operator presets. These are all racks in Ableton, but they're using operator, so you know, it's still got some effects on it and stuff. But yeah, really great stuff. Got a bunch of sounds in there. Like I said, it's 50 sounds, and it's only $15. So you get a lot of stuff. You know, these are all really solid sounds. Every single one of them, I wanted it to be a sound you can use, and a unique sound, and an interesting sound. So definitely check that out in the description if you're looking for some fresh inspiration. Maybe you just want some presets to play around with. You can also, you know, they're very good for re reverse engineering it. Like, you can go in and kind of see what's happening in a sound that's already made rather than having to make all your own from scratch. And that's definitely a way that I've learned a lot about synthesis. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. And yeah, let's dive into Operator. So you can see I've got Operator in front of me here. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You may be familiar with this if you've seen my videos. I use a synth a lot. And the, really this video starts with, what is Operator? Operator is an FM synthesizer. What FM synthesis is, is essentially, if you think of like a standard synthesizer, like, you know, say Massive or Serum or something like that, even though those do have some FM capabilities, everything is, the oscillators are playing side by side. You're just hearing a saw wave. Like, if you have oscillator 1, a saw wave, and oscillator 2, a square wave, you're hearing a saw wave on top of a square wave being played at the same time. With FM synthesis, you have one main oscillator or operator, as they're often called, and then you have the other ones sort of frequency modulating that. That is what FM stands for. And so essentially what this really means is you start with a less harmonically rich sound. So like in this case, you can see I've got the spectrum here. I've just got, this is just a sine wave. It's just a fundamental harmonic. And then you're adding harmonic content on top of that using other waveforms. Like you can hear when that comes on. It becomes a lot more of a complex waveform. You can also see over here, it's adding harmonics to the sound. So this is how FM synthesis works. Like I said, you're taking waveforms and putting them together and sort of making these different combinations of harmonics. And what this is really good for is a lot of things. There are a lot of really classic sounds made with FM synthesis, but it's a really great way to make your own kind of waveforms and make something that sounds really interesting. I do this a lot. Like, you know, if you're making a pad or something like that, you don't always want to just use a saw wave or a square wave. It's going to sound really simple. So you can do something with FM and make something a little bit more interesting using operator because Again, you're making your own combinations of harmonics. And the good thing with the operator is you can actually go in and draw in your own harmonics. So if I turn this off again, you can see this is just the sine wave. If you start drawing in these notes here, you can hear, you can see as well that we're adding in harmonics. And then when we do FM with another oscillator now, you can hear we get a completely different sound. And so you can even do this with this one. You can hear as we add more harmonics to the sound, the sound becomes more rich, and it really just kind of gets closer to like a saw wave or a square wave. Like the idea with this, when I'm always trying to create like these interesting waveforms with this, is it's meant to just sort of sound very similar to a saw wave or a square wave, because that's what a saw wave or a square wave is. It's a very harmonically rich waveform, and typically with regular styles of synthesis, like subtractive synthesis and additive synthesis, you would be starting. You would want to start with something like that. With FM and with operator, it's all about just starting with something simple. So, like, I'll show you here. Like, we'll just go back to a regular sine wave, and if we start bringing in these oscillators, you can hear it changes the sound. Again, it's not just the oscillators playing side by side. They're frequency modulating each other. And then the other thing with this is playing with the pitches. So the pitches kind of allow you to get a little bit of a different sound out of it. Like, if we start pitching these up, you can hear it becomes a totally different sound. Typically with operator, I try to stay within the even numbers. Like if you're trying to make like a really juicy sound. Like this, and then we can put that up to like. And yeah, so there we go. So you can see. The really fun thing about operators, it's really easy to just get sounds dialed in like this because, again, you're kind of like just playing around and searching for happy accidents. Like, when I do FM synthesis, sometimes I have like a specific idea 
of what I want harmonically and how I want to combine different things. I'm not exactly seamless, though, that being said. But, like, with this stuff, like, it's really just about, like I said, happy accents, kind of playing around and just seeing what can come out when you play around with these different combinations of harmonics. So this is why I really like Operator. It's just because it lends itself to creating really interesting sounds in different ways. And there's a lot more to it as well, you know, beyond the oscillators. There's also, like, this filter here, which is really nice. you got a lot of different filter settings here. You can get, like, a, a low pass, a high pass, a band pass, a notch, and then also this one where you can, like, combine different different types of filters. We've also got the different settings here, which allow you to get different kind of, like, sounds out of the filter, if that makes any sense. Like, it's just sort of different filter styles. Like, it's all going to be very much the same low pass filter, but then these allow you to kind of, like, change the low pass filter and give it different characters. Another thing I really like here is, like, the envelope with the filter and with the oscillators. The envelopes are very important with FM synthesis because you can hear, like, if we go in here and just change the envelope on the second oscillator, for example. It changes immediately. It goes from, like, a dubstep bass to, like, this tight pluck. So the envelopes on here are very easy to work with. And if we put on the one on this low pass, you can see, like... It allows you to really shape the sound with the synth. Another thing here while we're on the filter is the shaper. This is just kind of like a little bit of distortion that's added onto the filter. So if you turn this up, like usually I'll put it on the soft or the hard setting. And you can hear it hits a lot harder now. It's a lot fatter sounding. The hard setting is good if you want that like crunchy sound. There's also like a sine wave shaper. If you want to kind of like do some FM. With the filter, that sounds kind of cool. That sounds like a 303. But yeah, you can see, like, there's just a lot of stuff on here that's really interesting and fun to play with. There's also, like, the LFO, which can be really useful because you can put it on a lot of different stuff. So, like, a lot of times I'll put it on, like, the volume of one of these oscillators and just have it kind of going like this. You can hear now, like, every single note is a little bit different. So this can allow you to kind of get a little bit of a more interesting sound. The other things we got going on here with Operator are, you can see there's a pitch envelope, so that allows you to do, you know, like this pitch envelope kind of sounds where it's going down in pitch. This can be really useful if you want your sound to be like a really hard hitting pluck. Like if you take it and just make it really short and put the peak up. You can hear it makes it more like a kick, like kind of like, like a, as opposed to just like a standard pluck. There's also the spread here, which allows you to kind of spread the sound out a bit, make it a bit wider. This can be really useful for pads and stuff. There's also the transpose. And then down here we have these different FM algorithms. So these are different combinations of the oscillators. Basically you have this one where they're all just going, like just doing FM off the first one. And then all of these in between are just kind of like different combinations of that. And you can flip through and get really different sounds. And you can get some unique stuff by doing this as well. Like I definitely recommend this for kind of playing around and finding happy accidents. We'll switch that back to that. And then this one here is just all four oscillators playing side by side. So if you just want to use this as like a standard synth, like say you just want to have like two sine waves playing together, or you want to have two saw waves or anything like that, you can do this FM algorithm, and it will do that. Other than that, we got, like, these different connections down here. Like, you can put, like, if you want to velocity map it so that when you play at lower velocities, it'll be louder or it'll be quieter or something like that. You can do that. There's, like, key tracking. You can key track anything in here, which is really useful. The aftertouch, pitch bend, all that kind of stuff. All in all, Operator, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to show you, like, even though it's a simple synth, and it is something that just comes with Ableton, you can do a lot with it, and it's a very interesting synth for playing around. And if you guys want to know really, like, how I come up with a lot of these sounds really quickly, it's because of this kind of sound design, where I'm just going through and playing around until I find something really dope. I'm not trying to make a specific sound. I'm using tools like Operator that allow me to create really interesting sounds just kind of, like, from playing around and getting different combinations of things. And, of course, I know it's always going to be good, like, I know it's going to be, I know how to make things that are going to sound good for the most part, but, like, 
Yeah, it's just kind of that playing around and that exploration with sound that I find can really make things a lot more interesting. Operator is perfect for that. So, that's me for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more guides on synths like this. I got a request to do this one specifically. It was like one of the top requests that I've gotten recently for videos. So I want to make sure to get this one out for you guys. But yeah, let me know how you like this. Let me know if you want to see me do one on like Ableton Analog. I could talk about Serum. I could talk about like literally any synth. Even if it's one that I don't use. I can figure it out pretty quickly. So yeah, that's me for this one, like I said. And also, like I said in the beginning, make sure to check out that preset pack in the description. Like I said, it's 50 really awesome operator presets. So if you want to get started playing around with some different sounds, maybe you just want some new inspiration. Maybe you want to reverse engineer them to figure out how to make your own sounds. Maybe you just want to see some cool sounds to uh, put in your tracks. It's all available in the description. Like I said, 50 presets for just 15 bucks. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, thank you so much, guys. And I will see you tomorrow with another video.